Good evening. Thanks for joining us. We now know more about the final moments of Raputaman Singh Malik's life. The one time a suspect in the Air India bombings was gunned down outside his business yesterday morning. Tonight, police say video of the suspect car shows his killers were waiting for him. CTV's Alyssa Thibault has the latest. First seen through a parkade. <laughs> then left to burn in an alley. Investigators say inside this white Honda CRV is whoever killed Raputaman Singh Malik in front of his own business. The CRV arrived at 8236 128th Street a short time before the shooting and waited for Mr. Malik. The 75-year-old was killed around 9.30 Tuesday morning, shot inside his red Tesla. A short time later, the suspect vehicle was dumped close to nearby homes and set on fire. I heard a big boom. And then I just ran to the back because it came from the back. I seen these projections going up. Then I thought shell casings were in there. So far, there's no information about any getaway vehicle. Malik has been a polarizing figure, initially charged over the 1985 Air India bombings that killed 331 people. I would think, like many of the other family members, we're just processing, uh, you know, what just happened. Deepak Kandawal lost two sisters in the attack. They were traveling for a wedding. Really, though, what it does is it brings back a lot of triggers uh, for all the horrors of the last 37 years. In 2005, Malik was acquitted, and according to his eldest son... There's no way these two things are related. I, I'm, I'm personally convinced of that. Jaspreet Malik insists his father was a man of honour and gave his time to charity. It takes a lot of energy to hate, and to hate someone for 17 or more years and then to act on hate... I, I just can't imagine someone like that in the world actually exists. Despite his notorious history, investigators say... We don't have any recent involvement of Mr. Malik with the police, and we're aware that he is a high-profile person. Alyssa Thibault joins us live in studio. Alyssa, we know Malik was politically active. He was a polarizing figure. Any more clues to a motive? Well, Mijang, we put that question to his son today, asking if there is any link to Malik's support of India's Prime Minister in a published letter. His son downplayed that, saying his father was a private individual. He wasn't a politician, and he believes any political motive, in his words, makes no sense. Now, Malik's family is asking anyone with information to do the right thing and come forward. Hey, Thanks, Alyssa.